more details about the crime scene came out, and um, all three members of the family had been killed with a knife. Alec never really told me he used a knife, but one of the times I was visiting him, he implied or said something that led me to believe that the murder weapon was still in my house. Because of the laws, the therapists weren't allowed to come forward and tell anybody what Alec had said. So as a result, they expected uh, me to come forward and tell them what we know. So I went up to his room and started looking. I started looking through his backpack. And it wasn't in there. He had a big bag he carried, which was martial arts stuff. I looked through that. It wasn't in there. And then I opened up his dresser and saw that knife I'd given him as a hand-me-down from father to son. I remember thinking, he wouldn't have used that knife. So I pulled it out of the dresser and took out the sheath, and the tip of the knife was broken off. I can't explain it other than this gut feeling. He used this knife. This is it. I know it is. I just kind of stood there and stared at it. I'd given him this, what I thought was, you know, a sentimental gift. And now that memento, that small little gift had taken away so much. I had some of those crazy thoughts. There is a big river called the Susquehanna River not too far from us, where I live in Lancaster. I can drive, you know, if there's nobody behind me, throw it over the edge of the bridge and it'll be gone forever. Nobody will ever know. I thought I could get away with getting rid of that knife. That might have been the last chance to save Alec, I don't know. Maybe it's another way I failed him, I don't know. That's when he told me he killed Kevin and his parents. His initial reaction was what we would come to find with just about everybody, kind of a silence and, a, and this stare of like, my gosh, what, really? That's what most people's faces look like when we tell them what happened. What do you think I should do? But he was caring, compassionate. He um, prayed for Alec and our family. He prayed for the Haynes family. And at the end, he prayed for uh, me to have the strength to do what I needed to do. We ask that you guide Tim's heart. He has a difficult decision to make, one that he can only make with you by his side. That was really the thought that resonated in my mind that um, praying for me to have the strength to do what I need to do. Amen. Amen. I was pretty certain I knew what I was going to do at that point. Ultimately, it came down to that the responsibility to the Haynes family, the community, society, my, my moral compass of what's right and wrong. I'm overrode the fact that he was my son. I have to do the right thing, and that's coming forward.